Hey everybody, welcome back to Magic Orthodoxy. My name is David and this is a Marked Deck Top 10. All right, that's right. We're gonna look at the top 10 marked decks from my collection. Obviously, there's plenty of other marked decks in the world. I don't own all the marked decks in the world, uh, but I, I've got a lot and I've seen my fair share of, of markings. And, and so this is just my top 10. And uh, you might not agree with my criteria, okay? Because my criteria is uh, it has to be a well-hidden marking and it has to be easy to read, okay? Well hidden and easy to read, granted, those don't always go together, right? If it's well hidden, how is it easy to read? So these are just my submissions, okay? And you don't have to agree with me, it's fine, but you know, watch it and just get introduced to maybe a marked deck or two that you didn't know existed. All right, a little bit about types of marking. Uh, there's two different types of marked deck, okay? There's an actual marked deck that uses a marking system, okay? And a marking system, you would have to memorize or be able to decipher. It's usually a code. And so that code is only known to the magician or to the player, okay? So even if I showed you a marked deck, if you didn't know the code, even if you saw the code, you wouldn't be able to read it because you don't, you don't have the cipher, okay? So there's a marked deck, then there's readers. Now readers will actually say on the back of the card, six, Parts, right? It says it so that when you look at it, anybody would say, okay, yes, that is the six of hearts. Okay. So two types, we're going to look at both types. We'll look at some readers and we'll look at some marks. Yeah. Let's get on into it. All right. So coming in at number 10, we have the Knox version three from expert and the blue crown. All right. So if you watch my channel for any amount of time, you know, I love the Knox cards. I love the Knox series. Uh, and originally when the Knox came out, they were just colored and then the second version came out and then they had a tiny decipher that you could tell the difference between a red card or a black card. But since the version threes have come out, they are fully marked. So this is a fully marked deck. And so when you go to purchase a knock deck, what I would make sure is uh, number one, that you're getting the full readers, okay? And number two, that you're gonna get the instructions on how to decipher it. And I would make that argument for any of these decks going forward. You know, if you're not buying them from the actual creator, there's a good chance you might not get the decipher. So make sure that when you purchase your marked decks, you're getting uh, the cipher. All right, number nine, the Red Keepers from Illusionist, Open Jones, and Adam Wilbur. Now, originally when the Keepers came out, they were blue, and the blue decks are not marked. And so in this deck, these are readers. These are readers, okay? So it's a very uh, easy to decipher back design, okay? So these are good readers. However, uh, they're not easy to read. And the only reason for that is the marker on the back is incredibly small. Now I wear glasses, that's just, you know, that's the life I live. So maybe to some who have better eyesight than me, I don't know, maybe you can read the backs of these. Uh, the only way I can read them is if I use a magnifying glass. That would look really obvious if I was looking at them through a magnifying glass. So whereas I do like the back design and I do like the marking system, uh, they're not very easy for me to read. All right, coming in at number eight, the Madison Dealers. Now the Madison Dealers, of course, are put out from Daniel Madison and illusionist.com. The Madison Dealers are a marked deck, which means you have to learn the system. Uh, and this deck really does have the best of both worlds. They are very well hidden. Uh, I don't think your spectator will ever find the marking system. And they are uh, easy to see. However, they're not necessarily easy to read, okay? You're gonna see the marking system quickly and easily, but you will still need to learn the system. And I think that's what hangs up a lot of people when they get marked decks. They don't necessarily wanna take the time to learn the marking system, uh, but you will need to learn the marking system for these. But again, beautiful deck, uh, well designed. I do love this deck a lot. Number seven, the King's deck from illusionist.com, Daniel Madison, and Peter McKinnon. Now, uh, the King's deck is a, another beautiful deck from Illusionist, and this is kind of the third one in a row now from Illusionist, and so they, they do make some really cool marked decks. This one is also a marked deck, not a reader deck, and you will need to learn the cipher. And I think from, from what I've read, all the King's decks are marked in some way. Uh, this version of the King's deck, though, is fully marked and so you can uh, get a full grasp of what card it is. However, again, like I just said, you know, you have to learn the system, but it is a good marked deck. Number six, the Mirage deck from Patrick Kuhn and Legends Playing Cards. Uh, this is a really cool marked deck. Again, marked deck. 
uh, and easy to, easy to read, I think. It's not a reader back, okay? It's not a reader back, but I think the system is easy to read and it is uh, well hidden within the deck. I think your spectator could stare at these all day long and never see where the markings are. In fact, if, even if you were just buying this deck off the shelf, you might not even know their uh, marked decks unless you did a careful examination of the tuck case. Uh, I don't even know that when I first originally uh, reviewed these, if I even said they were marked decks. So that, that's how well hidden they are. Number five, the butterfly deck from Andre Sinica and Carta Mundi out in Belgium. Uh, these decks aren't even out yet. They're not even printed yet, and they're already my number five. Uh, this is a marked deck, okay? Not readers, they're marked. Uh, but man, there's a lot of bells and whistles with this deck. This is a great, great, great magician's deck, marked in so many different ways. Uh, this, this is an acrobat that can literally do tumbles and all kinds of flips and ninja kicks. Uh, you're gonna love uh, the butterflies when they come out. I love the marking system so much, and I love the detail on this that I, I bought a brick because I really think this is gonna be my go-to deck going forward. Number four, the Aquila from Cardify and Legends Playing Cards. Now, now that we're entering into the top four, okay, these are gonna be my readers, all right? Readers, like I said, they're gonna be well hidden and easy to read. And the Aquila are a great, great, great reader back deck. Um, the markings are really easy to read and they're right in plain sight. Uh, I don't think your spectator will ever find them, but you know, a, a close examination, if they sit there and study them, they probably would. So it's, they're not as well hidden as most, but it's a good reader back deck. And I really like the design on this. Cardify and the artists uh, with Cardify did an amazing job on this deck. Number three is the GT Speed Reader 809 Mandolin Back. These cards use a reader system that's based off of a system created by Ted Leslie. Now, if you're not very familiar with the mandolin backs, they are made to look exactly like uh, a writer back. I think only magicians or card collectors would be able to tell the difference. Uh, but this is one of my very favorite uh, reader backs. Hey, that's why it's in my top, that's why it's my top three, right? <laughs> so again, well hidden, well hidden. I, th I think this could fly past the magicians if they don't know where to look well hidden and super easy to read. I mean, with my glasses, uh, it's a small marking system, but I can read it, and I can read it from a good distance. So this is a great one to pick up. If you're looking for these, you can find them at penguinmagic.com. Number two, the DMC Elite Rouge deck from DMC and Philip Smith and Cardamundi. This is a brand new release from sovereignplayingcards.com, uh, and it is a great reader. The markings on this are incredibly well hidden, almost ingeniously well hidden, and so easy to read, even to read at a distance. Uh, you don't find that combination in a deck typically. I have never seen a reader system like this in my life. Uh, this is the only one I've ever known to be like this, but it is so easy to read, so fast to learn. You could literally pick up this deck, learn the system, and become this genius mentalist in like 20 minutes. All right, and number one, my favorite marked deck on the planet, the NKW Cadenza from Inkai Wei and Legends Playing Cards. This deck has got the bells and whistles for miles. Not only does it teach you the Mamonica stack from Juan Tamarie, but they are also uh, reader backs. So this, there's two, two great hits in one deck, um, and they're beautiful cards to look at. They handle amazingly. It's a beautiful tech case. Everything about this deck is wonderful. There was only 700, I think, of these made in each color. And if I could have afforded more of these, I would have bought a brick of them because they're that, they're that good. I really hope these come out in a second edition uh, that's a little bit more affordable for uh, the rest of us so that we could buy whole pallets of these at a time because this is an awesome, awesome, awesome deck. All right, so there you have it, my top 10 marked decks. Uh, if you are interested in any of these, I'll put the links below in the description. Uh, if you wanna take a fuller look at the reviews for each of these. And if you'd like to purchase them, hopefully uh, you'll be able to find that from the links as well. As always, we ask that you like this video just so other people can find it faster. And we ask that you subscribe just so that you can stay up to date on the latest in cards and card magic. If you wanna follow me on social media, you can. I'm at facebook.com slash magic orthodoxy, twitter.com slash magic orthodoxy, instagram.com slash magic underscore orthodoxy. And if you need more content, you can always find it at magic orthodoxy.com. Thanks, bye.